Tempo FM. Good morning. It is Rebecca with something a little bit different. It is two minutes past 11. Thank you from uh, the Sky Newsroom. We've uh, just had the news, obviously. And many thanks to uh, Paul for the Monday mid-morning show. Uh, Right, so today, there's something a little bit different. Well, uh, we're going to actually be starting off by playing a few songs about the radio because I'm going to pretend uh, that it is uh, 1926, uh, or rather uh, yesterday, 1926. The 26th of January, 1926, where it's all about the radio. So we're going to kick off with Lolly. And that was Lolly with Viva... Viva, viva, la radio. So it is 1926. It is the 26th of January 1926. And the only entertainment you can get in home, apart from, of course, books and toys and games, is radio. That's, that's all we can have at the moment. It's just radio. There's nothing else going on. Uh, and, uh, you know, the only thing you can do is ask, well, what's on the radio? This one is by Donna Summer. And that was Donna Summer on the radio. Cause back in, uh, t- on the 26th of January, 1926, that's, that's all you could listen to. Uh, obviously, it was uh, fantastic to listen to news from. Uh, there were uh, stage show well, not stage shows, there were uh, radio shows, which were broadcast out and music as well. But it actually... Uh, Radio wasn't actually that old at the time. Um, uh, The first experimental music broadcasts actually only started coming out of Chelmsford um, in 1920. So at this point, radio was only about six years old. And then two years later, in October 1922, a consortium of radio manufacturers formed the British Broadcasting Company. That sounds a bit familiar, doesn't it? Also known as the BBC. So the BBC at this point is only four years old uh, where it was a collection of uh, different radio stations Uh, in fact there were uh, six of them that started broadcasting regularly Um, there was one in London one in Manchester uh, stations in Birmingham Cardiff uh, Newcastle and Glasgow Um, and they would all come together to form the British Broadcasting Company but as I say I mean, the, at that point, there was uh, nothing on at all to listen to but the radio. And I think Gary Allen knows a little bit about this. So, Gary Allen, here we go. Nothing on but the radio. Tempo FM weather. Uh, yes, so today will be a largely dry day with sunny spells. It is already quite nice and sunny outside, but despite this, there is a risk of isolated showers that could be wintry on the hills. Breezy and rather cold everywhere despite the sunshine. Uh, with maximum temperatures of 7 degrees Celsius. Tonight, after a dry evening for most, cloud will thicken overnight as showery rain spreads eastwards. Some of, the m- some of the rain could be heavy, possibly wintry on the hills again. Cold and breezy, minimum temperature 1 degrees Celsius. And today... Has anyone guessed what I'm about to say? Well, we are... It is uh, 1926, but it is now a day later, 27th of January, 1926, and we are about to meet a gentleman called John Logie Bard. And I, I reckon he walked into the room and said, Radio's good, but you ain't seen nothing yet. This is You Ain't Seen Nothing Yet by the uh, Backman Turner Overdrive. Anyone guess what we're, what the theme is today? What happened in 1926 on this day? Have a guess. The Backman Turner Overdrive with You Ain't Seen Nothing Yet. And you're right, John Logie Bard, we had not seen this thing yet. Has anyone guessed what the theme is today? What happened on this day in 1926? Well, I will now tell you. It was the first public demonstration of a television system in London. So, effectively, today is the anniversary of the birth of television. Oh, yeah. So, lots of songs about television. I've even got some uh, theme songs I'm going to be playing just for a bit of giggles. Uh, But, of course, television started off great big box, tiny screen, 
and it was all in black and white. So here's Ian Anderson with Black and White Television. A slightly spooky song, I think. Enjoy! That was Black and White Television by Ian Anderson. It is 26 minutes past 11. You are listening to Rebecca doing something a little bit different, where the theme today is, effectively, the birth of television. Back in 1926, on this day, was the first demonstration of a, uh, of a television um, by John Logie Bard. Uh, he had demonstrated... Uh, what he did was he demonstrated the transmission of an image of a face in motion by radio. Uh, using, uh, obviously, before that, there were um, other sort of inventors who had created various mechanical systems and discs that could uh, create moving images. And there is also the uh, zeotrope. Is it called a zeotrope that spins around really fast and makes it look like there's an image moving? Obviously, that's more of a toy rather than um, a, a, a sort of moving uh, image. Uh, but yes, no, it was the um, the first demonstration of a of a moving image on a screen, and uh, I think they might have had sort of feelings like this um <laughs> so the next song i'm going to play is suddenly i see by katie tunstall and i think they must have suddenly thought ah i can suddenly see that base is moving it's not just a picture at least that's what i think that they just said that's probably what i just said it's katie tunstall the tempo fm what's on guide Ah, uh, yes, let's have a look at what is happening in and around Weatherby in the next few days, weeks, or maybe not months. That's a bit too far ahead. Well, tomorrow, Tuesday, the 28th of January, uh, the UK Torino presents with the Village Society and Spoth of WI Between You and Me, a night of words, songs, and breathtaking comedy with Ian McMillan and Luke Carver Goss. Goss. I almost read that as Coss. Uh, so it's, that's tomorrow, Tuesday 28th of January at Spofforth Village Hall. Doors open 7pm for a 7.30 start, so make sure you get there in good time. Uh, bar available, plus snacks and ice creams. Uh, tickets are £13 from Londis and Hairbell, or you can also get them online uh, from the... Oh, yes, so it says from the 1st of January, uh, which is obviously... Well, that was, that was weeks ago. That was 27 days ago. Um, also this week, Wednesday, 29th of January, Boston Spa Gardening Club. Sue Wood from Harrogate Perks Parks Department will give a talk. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Sue Wood from Harrogate Parks Department will give a talk, The Valley Gardens of Harrogate. The evolution of the gardens in the late 19th century through to recent projects, including the restoration of uh, the Japanese Garden. That's at the Deepdale Community Centre in Boston Spa. Doors open 7pm to start at 7.30. There's refreshments and a raffle. New members are always welcome. And for further information, see the Facebook page. That's for the Boston Spa Gardening Club. Um, and the next door forum, or you can visit the website or contact Hazel Wicks. Her number is on our Tempo FM website. That's www.tempofm.co.uk forward slash local events. Um, you just go to the top and click on the local events tab to see all of the local events coming up. I mean, I've only mentioned two, and there are more of them, um, which I will get to later. I've also been asked... I've been sent an email um, just to make everyone aware that there have been a, a recent spate of burglaries in Boston Spa. Um, the police are re reallocating resources to increase patrols in the Boston Spa area. Um, but please take care, lock your doors, hide things away. Uh, don't just trust that your neighbours aren't going to take them because it's not your neighbours that will take them, it will be others. Um, so, And anyone interested in setting up a neighbourhood watch team, the police would offer training. Um, and you can find their details on www.police.uk or by calling 101. So, yeah, that's, that's what's been happening. Feel good songs all day long. This is Tempo FM. And you are here with Rebecca doing something a little bit different. It is 24 minutes to 12, and the theme today is the birth of television. For on this day in 1926, John Logie Bard demonstrated, for the first time in public, 
the first working, well, sort of, and very early version of a television system in London. But you wouldn't believe it. It wouldn't be another 10 years until the BBC would start broadcasting television themselves. Uh, I'm th- I think if it had been sort of 100 years later, so if it had been now, um, well... Like if there, if there'd been a new technology and everyone had decided that's amazing, it would have been mass produced and released within six months. So the fact it took ten years, uh, about ninety years ago, is just is is just boggling. But of course, it would not have been possible without the use of electricity. Here's Silk City featuring Dua Lipa. I don't know why, but I've never heard the. My very ending of that song where she goes woohoo that was that was silk city featuring dua lipa with electricity which is of course what enables uh, radio and television to work but i'm sure there were many 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 people that although this amazing new invention had come along where we could see our radio stars instead of just listening to them i'm sure there were people who still thought oh no this is terrible we don't like this technology Uh, video is going to kill the radio star it's going to be awful what are we going to do buggles what are we going to do i think that's meant to be bungles but it says buggles anyway video killed the radio star everyone but it didn't really because we're still here tempo fm travel Yes, let's have a quick look-see at what's happening out on the road. It is 12 minutes to 12, and it's looking, looking okay. So, first off to mention, uh, in Tadcaster, there is a road closed for construction um, on a new street from the A659 uh, High Street to Centre Lane. Uh, it's it's not a part of the major roads, but it might mean that there is sort of additional uh, cars parked along the roads nearby. Uh, A1N looking nice and clear north and south which is always very nice uh, centre of Weatherby also looking very very clear I had a nice run in uh, just before the start of my show earlier uh, some c- uh, road works uh, on the A59 as you go into Nesborough means the traffic is a bit stop start in fact uh, there are temporary traffic signals as well um, and that's on the A59 as you're going into Nesborough from uh, the York direction it's uh, right near the Toyo to dealership that's where it is uh, otherwise uh, Harrogate looking a bit patchy as you go in a little slow as you go in on the A661 um, that's as you go in and pass the Great Yorkshire showground into Harrogate otherwise it's all looking all looking all right out there um, there and about so if you want to pop out do a bit of shopping or if you uh, are looking to uh, head home pretty soon um Maybe you, maybe you did a funny shift at work, or maybe you are just finishing just after lunchtime. Well, uh, now's the chance to go, because the roads are nice and clear and ready to go. Ah, yes, this is Tempo FM. Uh, you can visit us on the website at www.tempofm.co.uk. You can email us, studio at tempofm.co.uk. Is there some news that you would like us to know about? Would you like us to know how we're doing today? Or have you even got some song requests or song ideas based on the theme for today? Let me know. You can even text in. Uh, send text to 8222 starting the message with the word tempo followed by a space and standard network rates apply uh, there is also a, um, a, a an address you can post stuff to us uh, though I, I wouldn't be able to put it out on the show today might be able to go out onto the show next week instead this is 107.4 tempo fm and today the theme is uh, well Back in 1926, it was the birth of television. John Logie Bard gave his first public demonstration of a TV system in London. Uh, Obviously, after that, he had to do a lot of work, um, sort of making prototypes, figuring out how to send out uh, signals that could get picked up. Um, The original television set was, in fact, a disc uh, where um, it would spin... Uh, rather fast and kind of like a uh, record player but with visuals as well Um, so that was very early version and they were working on uh, getting 
it out with uh, electricity and even uh, so it could go nationwide with sound and uh, visuals as well. Although I'm sure like the early uh, early um, film uh, cinemas, uh, they were silent films. So I, th- um, I need to check up on my research, but I'm pretty sure they were working on getting it out with both um, uh, the sound and the audio but effectively it was the spirit of radio was continuing for a little while longer and here is rush with the spirit of radio because radio is still going strong even today of course so many radio stations including this one tempo fm coming from the heart of weatherby and And that was Rush with Spirit of Radio. I thought it finished a few seconds earlier than it actually did then. That was slightly embarrassing. Well, I've uh, caught up on my research and these televisions were indeed also broadcasting sound to go along with it. And let's face it, they had already uh, figured out how to broadcast sound um, because radio. So if you uh, were ever in a situation where you couldn't hear the music, that's probably because there was an error with your, uh, with your set, basically. Here is James Blunt with I Can't Hear the Music. And this is going to take us into the news at 12 o'clock. And you've got me for another hour until one, doing more of something a little bit different. Water. 